guys sits here over somewhat hot, a little bit sweaty, bearded, bearded host, and his lovely wife. He was sweaty and hot, but not bearded. Thank goodness. Um, we are in Willemstead, Curacao. Um, we're in a pavilion, a food pavilion, which is awesome. But before we get to that, let's talk about this beard thing. I'm having second thoughts on shaving it off. I didn't tell her. But uh, the problem, the problem that I'm having, frankly, is the ladies. They cannot keep their eyes off my beard. And I don't know why. Um, so I'm afraid that if I shave it off, I don't know, we'll have a riot, a mutiny, or something. Anyway, I'm getting used to it. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, the food pavilion. Uh, we are in this big, big food pavilion. Let's show you. And the locals have a, an open barbecue pit, and then they're cooking soups, and fish, and stewed goat, and salt fish, and beef, and rice, and all sorts of stuff. So um, we saw this last time, but unfortunately we had already eaten lunch, but we came back today. And so Sarah has salt fish with rice and plantains. I have stewed beef with rice and plantains. And that's that. So we're going to eat, let you know how it went, and then head back to the boat for some more boat work. Yay! Yay! All right. Honest, honest assessment? Mine was really good. Salt fish was really good. Salt fish, good. Beef? Not so much. I was the winner. Yeah, Sarah was the winner. It was, uh, salt fish was really good. But the beef was uh, tough, not a lot of flavor, uh, just barely okay. Kind of disappointed, but oh well, we'll try another stall next week. Alright, that's the update for now. Ciao! Hey guys, back on the boat. So we wanted to just talk briefly about our shopping trip and what it takes to get food and how much it cost. So, uh, we left the boat this morning at about 8.30, dinghied into the pirate's nest, and jumped on the bus at 9 o'clock, and about an, uh, 45 minute, 30 to 45 minutes later, we were in Willemstead. We walked down to the floating fish and vegetable market, which is only about five minutes. From the bus stop? Yeah, about yeah. five minutes from the bus stop, after we stopped at the ATM and got some Dutch guilders. Anyway, so we first went to the uh, fishmonger, and we got some snapper. Uh, that's two kilos of snapper, which I think is about five pounds. And it was 35 guilders, or the equivalent of 20 US. So not too bad for 20 bucks. And the snapper, the red snapper especially, is really good tasting fish. So we'll grow those up and have a delicious couple of meals. Then the vegetables, uh, we found a, uh, a vegetable guy last time we were down, really nice guy, Venezuelan, and uh, he hooked us up pretty good with limes, cabbage, coconuts. I don't, we don't know what these are, they're some sort of a root vegetable. But it's, a, it's like a potato. Like a potato. But starchier. But starchier. And then these great big uh, avocados. And then while we were shopping, he goes, do you want to try this? And it's a, a malted beverage and... Uh, so he got a cold one out for us and gave us a straw, and it's really good. It's kind of, well, it's malt, but it's really super sweet. So we bought a little, a few of those as well. And the vegetables and the uh, malt drinks together were, uh, again, 35 guilders or right at 20 bucks uh, for the vegetables. And now it's, what, 1 o'clock? It's about 1 o'clock, yeah. Yeah, almost 1 o'clock. And uh, that included lunch. About a half an hour wait for the bus uh, back to the, uh, to the boat. So unfortunately, the buses are really great. They're just like uh, professionally run buses, but they're they only, the route that we're on. They only run either every hour or every hour and a half. So we have to wait oftentimes for the return bus. And yeah, they make a lot of stops. And they make a lot of stops. So, but it's cheap. It's only a dollar per person each way, U.S. So that's it. That's our uh, our story for the day. Uh, we're going to continue to work on putting the uh, wind generator, that's the controller there, uh, in in a couple of days when Sam gets here. Our other project that we've got going is these uh, the covers 
for the hatches or the, the covers for all the lockers, the white laminate is kind of peeling off. So we're kind of in the process of uh, gluing those down. You can see the clamps back there. Back here, I'm just got a kind of a glue and clamp station going. Anyway, that's the uh, report from Curacao. Here's a view uh, out of the front of the boat from our anchorage. And uh, so far, Curacao has been nice. The shopping has been incredible. They've got a store uh, called, a, <laughs> curiously enough, called a Goisco. G-O-I-S-C-O. -O. And the, the signage, the signage, uh, all of the, uh, the aisles, and, and everything is laid out almost like a Costco. Get it? Goisco, Costco. But it's huge. It's just, it's like the Costco on Chad. This store is probably, how much bigger than the store on Chad? Half again as big? I would say half again. Half again as big as the Costco on Chad. It's huge. They've got a whole aisle. Like the whole aisle is nothing but pillows. Uh, but it's, it, it doesn't have and, all the produce. Yeah, it doesn't have all the produce, but it's got a ton of stuff. And it's relatively inexpensive. So uh, we didn't have the GoPro. I guess I did have the GoPro, but I was too lazy to go back to the car and get it when we were in last time. We'll but, go pro when we go back. Yeah, we'll go when we go back. Yeah. So we'll go pro the uh, Goisco and show you the... Uh, the, the knockoff Costco. Anyway, but it's by far the biggest store we've ever found in the Caribbean. And it's huge. Which, again, you know, for us, food and grocery stores and getting to the food and grocery stores is a big deal. You can't just pop in your car and go to Freddy's or PC or Costco. you gotta, you got to get there and, and figure out how to get your stuff back and on and on. Anyway, we're complaining, right? No, we're not complaining. Just explain. Okay, that's it for now. Have a good day, everybody. Ciao. Ciao. Hi. It is Sam Monday, December 10th. Uh, Sam's here. Hello. Yay. I decided to go goatee. <laughs> Not for me, for the ladies. Anyway, I like it. Um, it's wind generator day. So um, we have strong wire from the charge controller under here, underneath into the uh, electrical box or compartment. And then luckily there's a conduit that goes all the way back to the back of the boat. And we've strung it up the pole, out of the pole. Now we're putting the wind generator together. And since we get it together, we're going to take it outside and uh, make the connections. The crazy thing, the crazy thing is it's been crazy windy for a week. And then just today, the wind goes almost none. So we're hoping to have at least a little bit of wind to be able to test it, and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, we'll show you outside when we get out there. All right. In the connections. Exciting free energy. my trusty helper. He's sleeping. And my vice admiral over here is doing almost nothing. All right, let me show you. Bit of a mess still, but check it out. A 
little vibration. So we're gonna have to work on that. Kind of a medium speed vibration. I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty silent. There it goes. Anyway, it's uh, it's making electricity. It's uh, not actually adding amps to the batteries right now, but uh, it's at least kind of keeping up with what we got going. And uh, even though it's late in the afternoon, our battery banks show to be full still. 12.63 volts, which is good if you can see that. Still got negative on the amps, but that's all right. It's at least mitigating the damage. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, get things kind of sorted. It's kind of a mess down here. And then we're gonna relax for a couple of days. That's the plan. Alex made it down a few days after Sam. We spent the next couple of weeks doing some scuba diving, some general relaxing and reading of a lot of books, and touring the island of Curacao. We hope everybody back home had an excellent Christmas and the start of your new year is going well. We miss everyone. Take care. Bye-bye for now.